We're the two teachers. Welcome to The Strangest Things. Timeless talk about today's topics. Andy, here's the strangest thing this week. The Supreme Court opened with nine justices. Nine? What? Seems so strange after we've had eight justices for nearly uh, nearly a year uh, after the death, the unexpected death of Antonin Scalia. Of course, remember that then President Obama tried to fill Scalia's seat with uh, Judge Merrick Garland. Wait, re- what, why didn't Why didn't Merrick Garland <laughs> get confirmed? We know that the Republicans who control the majority of Congress, uh, Senate, uh, refused to even give Merrick Garland confirmation hearing. And because waited. they said it was an election issue. Well, they said that the, the Republicans who controlled the Senate said that the tradition was that an empty seat should have to wait until the outcome of the next election. And what do you know? Donald Trump wins the presidency, a Republican, who nominates a what we think to be a very conservative, Republican-leaning judge on the Supreme Court. Republicans approve Judge Gorsuch as the ninth Supreme Court justice here. So we're back to normal. Who, so, would, who would guess? So, Andy, we know that when there were only eight justices, it appeared as if the court was deciding less, really which was. they did. It also appeared as if they were deciding less controversial cases. Absolutely. Which was true. But now we have nine. Does that mean that this court is going to be a Trump court? Well, I mean, the, the court... And its makeup is really similar ideologically, we think, to the court on with Antonin Scalia. I mean, we we think that there are four heavyweight conservatives and four heavyweight liberals, and Justice Kennedy typically is conservative, but sometimes he swings to the left. I mean, that hasn't changed, Dan. So the makeup of the court really hasn't changed ideologically that much. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it seems like they've had a backlog of the controversial cases. There wasn't much controversy or, or high profile, we should say, from last year. And it seems like this year is laden with high profile cases about topics that, that civic students and teachers really care about. Well, Andy, remember, friends don't lie. And <laughs> I still got a bit of a truth ache. And you were just saying the court swinging to the right. It reminds me of John Roberts when he was confirmed. He told the Senate confirmation questioners that as a Supreme Court, they're just an umpire. They're just supposed to call balls and strikes. They're they're just supposed to call it as the law says it, that the justices weren't supposed to hit the ball. They weren't supposed to be batters. But you said swing to the right. Are you suggesting that the Supreme Court, this Supreme Court, with five conservatives, will be swinging a little bit more aggressively this year, taking on those big cases and deciding for us the big political disputes. Well, we certainly know that judicial activism can be a two-way street. We know that you can have liberal activism where uh, you're essentially making uh, cases that go against landmark decisions that swing to the ideological left. And we know that you can have conservative activism where they're making decisions that, against landmark cases that swing to the cons- the ideological right. Um, and, and we see a bevy of cases from both sides. We have a gerrymandering case where the, the liberal side of the court could decide that state partisan gerrymandering mm. that favors Republicans in some Republican states is unconstitutional. You could have uh, a Republican, uh, uh, essentially a conservative idea, the idea that uh, teachers' unions should not be allowed to uh, force, or state law can't force all the teachers in a public school to pay a significant fees towards union dues. Uh, that might be an activist case to the right. Well, we do know, Andy, that John Roberts is quick to say, even in oral arguments this week, that he's worried about the legitimacy of the court. He understands if the court becomes too political, we the people may no longer see them as that uh, faithful arbiter of the law, that justice is blind, in fact, is just on a statue and not practiced inside the courtroom, in our Supreme Courtroom. Andy, a bit of a truth ache. We're told that justice is blind. This year, we may test that maxim. Say, Andy, speaking of the curiosity door, I've got a curious thing (laughs) this week. As I open the curiosity door in my classroom, everyone's asking about this new Supreme Court justice, Neil Gorsuch. Is it Gorsuch or Gorsuch? But what kind of justice is he going to be? What should we expect 
from the associate justice Gorsuch. Uh, I, I think we expect he's young. Uh, he, he really is young. Did he it's, clerk for Kennedy? Uh, he clerked for Kennedy, oh. but he's young, and we think he's conservative. So he'll be on the court for, you know, theoretically 30, 40 years. And it's a really good example of how increasingly presidents uh, look towards younger ideological He's going to be there. He could be there for a long time. Remember Justice Kagan, similar. She's also relatively young, uh, put on the court by Barack Obama. So these are two justices who could be outlive the presidencies of Obama and President Trump by decades. Are we to imagine that Gorsuch and Kennedy are friends and that this might, in fact, lend Kennedy to believe, now that my good friend's on the court, I might be able to retire this year? I, this is pure speculation, right? This we're, is, yeah, we're this, just, this just episode, curiosity door. This episode's turned into uh, answer your speculation. Yeah. So I don't want to speculate. We can't speculate on this. I don't know if they're friends or not. We know that Kennedy is older, and, and there have been hints that he would retire. Whether or not that has to do anything with Judge Gorsuch, who knows? Could Gorsuch be that next swing voter in the courts ahead? Boy, there's another curiosity door to open later on. Andy, what are you talking this... About? What are you talking about? This has been the strangest thing. It really has turned into a strange episode. Gorsuch as the swing voter? Were the two teachers. No fancy words. No fancy suits. Plain talk about issues you need to know. Just in time.